Everyone has seen the Palace of Versailles in pictures, but have you ever considered Versailles in figures? Let's start with a little history. In 1623, in the town of Versailles, the palace of the same name was no more than a simple hunting lodge. In 1661, Louis XIV began building the palace we know today. At the height of the works, there were nearly 36,000 people involved in the construction of the royal residence. At the time, 4,000 courtiers lived in the palace and 2,740 in the owl buildings, amounting to nearly 7,000 people in total. From the laying of the foundations of the hunting lodge until the end of the French monarchy, four kings lived within its walls, Louis XIII, Louis XIV, Louis XV and Louis XVI. Of the four, Louis XIV holds the record for the longest reign, with 72 years on the throne. Mary Lazinska, the wife of Louis XV, holds the record for the longest female reign, with 42 years and 9 months. And now for the main subject. The Palace of Versailles boasts 64,110 meters square of floor area and has 2.24 hectares of roofs. In the palace alone, there are 3,000 rooms, 121 fireplaces, 50 staircases and 2,068 windows. In 1684, Louis XIV asked for the construction of the Grand Gallery, which today is called the Hall of Mirrors. 75 meters long, 11 meters wide and 357 mirrors. More than 100 years after him, Louis Philippe took up the challenge of grandeur and asked for the construction of a gallery that he wanted to be even larger and more majestic. In 1837, he inaugurated the Gallery of Great Battles, 119 meters long and 14 meters wide. Two kings, two eras, two styles, the choice is yours. But enough about galleries. At the palace, you will also find the Royal Opera House, inaugurated in 1770. The Opera House was used 40 times to host performances between 1770 and 1789, and it still serves today. In 2019, 100 events were scheduled. The opera is a staggering sight. In the 18th century, 500 candles were needed to light a single show. Considering 500 grams of wax cost the equivalent of a day's wages, you'd certainly think twice before neglecting to put out the lights. A few meters from the opera is the palace's tallest building, the Royal Chapel, standing at a height of 42 meters. Let's take a step back. Today, the palace is surrounded by 77 hectares of gardens, composed of 16 groves leading to the Grand Canal, which covers an area of 23 hectares, 1,675 meters long and 1,073 meters wide. Get your walking shoes and your bikes, the 5.7 kilometers along the canal are waiting for you. Not far from the palace, the Orangery covers an area of 5,275 meters square. During the colder months, it houses 1,600 trees. Inside, it reaches a height of 12.5 meter beneath the vault. Plenty of space, even enough to accommodate palm trees. A few steps away, the Lake of the Swiss Guard covers 14 hectares, the equivalent of 20 football pitches. From the Royal Gate to the Royal Star, the perspective stretches out over 3.4 kilometers. You think that's big? Consider this. Today, the palace is surrounded by the groves, the park covering 432 hectares and the Trianon estate. All in all, we are talking of 660 hectares. But under Louis XIV's reign, we were talking about the little park, 2,000 hectares, larger than our current park, and the great park, which then stretched over nearly 10,000 hectares. And speaking of gardens, did you know that the fountains are fed by 35 kilometers of pipes 80% of which are three centuries old. Let's now leave the palace and head over to Trianon. Less than three kilometers from the palace, the estate of Trianon covers 96 hectares and is divided into three locations, the Grand Trianon, the Petit Trianon and the Queen's Hamlet. In the gardens of Trianon, the French garden covers 2.32 hectares, which is relatively small, however, when compared with the 14 hectares of the English garden. Built in 1687, the Grand Trianon covers an area of 8,527 meters square and has 535 rooms. The Petit Trianon has a surface area of 2,013 meters square, spread out across 158 rooms. Now, let's have a look at the collections of the Museum of Versailles. Hang on tight, let's go! The collections of the Palace of Versailles contain 84,069 works. These include 6,924 paintings, of which 6,207 are on independent substrats. Some are well-known works, such as Napoleon at the St. Bernard Pass, and some even more like Marie Antoinette, Queen of France, and Louis XIV's King of France. 
the smallest painting in the collections, measures 11 cm by 8 cm and depicts Rosalie Lamar, Duchess of Rivoli, Princess of Essling, painted by Louis Gauthier in 1799. The largest painting is displayed in the Africa rooms. Taking of the smell of Abdul Qadir by the Duke of Amali at Tagin, painted on canvas and measuring 4.8 meter high and 21.7 meter wide. Of course, there are more than paintings. 7,452 pieces of furniture, 156 clocks, 426 chandeliers, 29,434 graphic artworks, and 8,745 art objects. The palace also has 3,741 sculptures, inside, such as the bust of the Sun King, and outside, such as the abduction of Proserpina. The Palace of Versailles is today a public establishment supervised by the French Ministry of Culture. In 2018, 1,089 people worked at the palace, including 814 permanent staff. They include 15 curators, 60 gardeners and 500 members of security staff. A little more than 8 million visitors passed through the palace gates in 2018. How about you?